So Sean, uh, people are going to need some Mother Day ideas for brunch, and why not maple and ash? So why not that? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good to I'm see you. Good to see you too. I know it's under these circumstances that uh, we are, are kind of excited because we're starting to open up. But under these circumstances, you guys have made it easy for people to enjoy Mother's Day brunch. Exactly. We have a wonderful lineup that we're offering to go to be able to pick up curbside. Um, it's it's not only to, to have a wonderful meal, but also give back to your mom. So we, if you want to check out the menu, check us out on our social platforms. Um, it's a great deal. One of the meals feeds two people. Um, we actually have mimosa kits. We could actually upgrade it for a little bit more, throw some caviar onto that, along with some king crab. Um, also, what's great about it is that we're trying to help you out, and we're actually going to give you a Mother's Day card that's signed. Uh, you can also order some florals for your mom through us also. And if you want mimosa kits or you want some other cocktails to go along with your food, um, we're giving some great offerings for everything for Mother's Day. Yeah, um, and this is what it's kind of interesting. Um, and we're going to jump around a little bit. And I want to because um, you guys started when you came to the Valley with the food truck going around. Yeah, we did. Now <laughs> you're back to the food truck around a little bit no, this time. No, exactly. I mean, we're, we're very fortunate that we have this, this vehicle to go out and go up to the Public. We use this first and foremost to introduce ourselves to the market in the valley because who knew what Maple and Ash was unless you've been to Chicago, you've been in the area. We had great success on this. For the last couple weeks, we've been going out. We've been blasting it out everywhere. Um, just trying to get some normalcy. It's, it's, been, it's been very well received. We're doing, you know, some of our items that we know. We have our, you know, uh, fire roasted shrimp right here that yeah. we do. We have some salads that we're doing off of the truck. Um, lo and behold, too, though, this is our famous burger out of Chicago that we serve at 8 Bar. Um, it's a double patty and then everybody goes crazy for this okay it's lights out and it's been so well received going out to the public and just going up to apartment complexes and the people smiling and coming out and we're giving cocktail kits out to people um just to add a little bit more back to the community some normalcy because we've all been stressed for all these crazy everything we've been going through in this crazy yeah. time so um and then you also have the menu which you have weekly family menu that's really neat too yeah another thing we're doing also right now with the curbside we're able to drive up and we're doing uh, a family we're calling family meals they serve two people the menu changes every other day um, and it's stuff that, that you might not see typically from Mabel but it's also stuff that we're doing that might be a pain in your butt to cook at home that you're oh my god I want to eat that I want to order it and um, you're we're giving we're trying to give back that way too that we're getting a good wholesome meal for everybody um, and we've had a lot of fun doing it so, all right um, restaurants are opening up coming up on Monday you guys are looking forward to that but you guys are making changes too and getting ready haven't exactly you? we still don't have a market date we're looking for when we're going to be we're trying to get all of our ducks in a row the first and foremost thing that's most important to us is obviously the public safety and even though you know I'm speaking for myself and right now and everybody else is that you know we're saying restaurants can open up on Monday but we're gonna make sure we have everything in a row and we have everything that, that's correct to be able to welcome guests back into where they, they feel comfortable coming back into our establishment yeah and, and I'll tell you I know you mentioned Chicago but you love that you got to bring this here because you have pretty much been one of the top chefs here in Arizona so I know when you guys started, then they had to shut down, but you guys are excited about uh, sharing this more with people, aren't you? No, it, it is. You know, I'm very fortunate. I've, I, I've worked in the Valley for almost three decades now, and, you know, I, I uh, got on board with this company and just believe in their culture and everything else, and, uh, you know, it, it's shining through what we're doing, not only with um, what we're doing with the food truck, the family meals for Mother's Day, but even how we're giving back to or even our associates that are not working right now. We're doing, you know, weekly giveaways for them um, the, so they're able to eat. Uh, during this hard time so, so yeah we appreciate it so again uh, what is the website if you want to put the order in uh, if you go to maplenash.com you can get directed there'll be a Scottsdale link right there and we'll have all the information on there and then what about if you want to find out where your food trucks are do you have that listing we too? are we're listening we're really listening out on Instagram um, on Facebook and stuff like that all those other stuff that uh, we're really do our due diligence to make sure that um, it's out there I like it and I love that you said you know what Brad uh, you need to test the burger <laughs> to make sure that it's worthy enough <laughs> for your employees to have too since we have the truck here so let me just make sure mm. God. Lord, I know, we're not, I know, I know. Lights Bam. out though, there huh? There we go. Oh my goodness. It's lights out, isn't it, brother? Love it. <laughs> mm.